Hello everyone, it is Saturday the 11th of December and welcome to day 11 of our Advent bedtime stories. Billy's here as you can see, climbing on the Christmas tree even though we've told him not to many many times. But day 11 story is called Magic in the Air. Not many people know this, but the wind in the North Pole can be really strong, strong enough to make a penguin fly. It's just as well that there are no penguins in the Arctic. Maybe they all blew away. On windy days, Santa never hangs out his washing to dry, in case his pants end up at the South Pole. Today is windier than ever at the North Pole. When Santa goes to work at Elf House, he carries PJ and Luna inside his coat to stop them blowing away. In fact, they nearly all blow away when an icy gust throws them into a snowdrift. Covered in snow, Santa arrives at the front door of Elf House. Before the doors open and the elves throw themselves on anything that isn't weighted down. Even though the front door only opens a little to let Santa, PJ and Luna squeeze indoors, the wind whistles in too. In a swirl of flying letters and labels, wrapping paper and shiny ribbons, a snowy gal sneaks in and blasts through the house. Phew, it's blowy out there today, puffs Santa, as he takes off his thick coat. Phew, it's blowy in here too when that door opens, giggles the elf, Mr Magic. Soon everyone is back to packing sacks of parcels, stacking shelves and sorting yet more presents and labels. All the elves sing merrily as they go about their work. With a team of Santa elves busy stacking Santa shelves. PJ and Luna help out too. Not many people know this, but reindeer can't normally fly. The secret is in Mr. Magic's puffle wuffle dust. The sparkling magic power powders in his hundreds of twinkling jars can make anything fly. One jar is marked Magic Reindeer Fuel. Mr. Magic will sprinkle it onto carrots, which the reindeer eat shortly before takeoff. Another jar is marked Magic Sleigh Power. Mr. Magic will shake it all over the sleigh just before it's time to fly. Then it will soar into the sky, even when full of parcels and a heavy Santa. I've added some extra twinkle to the mix this year, says Mr. Magic, as he unscrews a jar of the magic flower flying powder. He takes the lid off just as Luna pops outside through the flap. As soon as the flap swings open, a howling blast of wind rips through and zips all over the house. Magic powder blows everywhere and in seconds, everyone is flying up into the attic ceiling. It takes an hour for the magic to wear off, but what a fun hour it is. The elf, Santa and PJ giggle as they float off the ground, swooping and hovering. When Luna returns indoors, she's amazed to see all the flying fun and frolics. Tonight we will dream about flying, Santa chuckles. After all, Christmas Day is now only two weeks away. Christmas bells, Christmas spells, Christmas all the way. Oh, what fun it is to sleep and wake up the next day. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. And yes, tomorrow you will find out too. It's time for bed now. Nighty night. Bye.